live here. Up and down the country, super rich teens and 20 somethings are snapping at the hottest properties money can buy. This is where the mistress would be. You could hide your lover in here when your husband gets home. I have to be a property millionaire. I do like to read that. Unless you've got a trust fund or being bankrupt by mum and dad. Some people can work all their life to become a millionaire. I just adopted it. The average first time buyer now reaches a whopping 38 years old. 38! As Britain's youth are in danger of becoming a generation who can't afford to buy their own homes, <laughs> this series follows some of the UK's most affluent young people. I don't know if you care about this money I'm making. 80 bottles of Dom Perignon, a couple of bottles of Cristal. Standard weekend, really. I'll make 100 times as much in about 10 years' time. As they hunt for their perfect pads. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a bit of me. Oh, I love oh, this. Oh, my it's God. And there's a walk-in wardrobe. And go on a serious spending spree. That's definitely the sort of theme I want to be going for. £700 is a good bargain. It's going to be extortion. This one is 420000 799950 They're on the market for about two and a quarter million. There is no question, no doubt in my mind, I would become successful in property. Oh, I got it! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! In tonight's show, a 25 year old playboy has 800 grand to find somewhere as beautiful as he is. That's I hate fine. the building. I hate the building. I hate the view. A 19-year-old jewellery junkie jumps feet first into house buying. Maximum price. 500 pounds. I was thinking 2 mil. And a 24-year-old mummy's girl goes shopping for a fabulous new flat. Mummy, I can see why it's not over a million, can you? Maybe you should buy the block. <laughs> Meet 25-year-old playboy, Luke. My name's Luke, 25 years old. Uh, I've got a budget of about 500 to 800,000 pounds. He currently lives in the lap of luxury in Brentwood, Essex, at his godfather's two million pound house, rent-free. It's got its own private gates, entrance, driveway, um, Italian marble and other kitchen, so I would consider it to be quite luxurious. It would be nice just to have a place which I could call my own, which has my own touch, I can design it you know, myself. Luke has a 50 grand deposit, and his mum, a successful property developer, has agreed to top up any extra cash he may need. Massive mummy's boy. <laughs> I just told her I needed some money, and gave her the little wink and smile, and she was foolish enough to actually lend it. I'm going to go get um, some cookies. Luke's mum has worked hard from an early age. <laughs> I've seen a sec. I started working for myself, buying stuff, selling it. Um, and, and just made a living, living off my wits. But Luke doesn't believe in hard graft. I'm not a fan of work. It's, just, it's pure as simple as that. Work, to me, is not fun. One of the biggest dilemma I've got is whether it's going to be sunny or whether it's going to be cloudy, to whether I go to the gym or whether I go and play golf. Tough life, but someone's got to do it. But he does oh, believe in looking good. Today I've got my hair done, eyebrows done, sunbed, feet. The challenge for Luke is to find somewhere big and beautiful enough to house his ego. Oh, that's what dreams are made of. This world's a better place for me to be in it, really? so that I, should, what exactly I deserve you, everything. What exactly getting. do you give to the world? <laughs> I'm your host for the evening. Oh my god, you love it! <laughs> I'm Lily, I'm 19, and I'm looking for a house up to about £400,000. 19-year-old Millie lives next to Cheshire's Alder Liege, one of the most expensive neighbourhoods in the UK, thanks to its wealth of celebrities and premiership footballers. Alex Ferguson lives there. Sometimes see him popping out. He let me out the other morning, actually gave me a little wave. Millie's parents have grand plans to renovate their Cheshire home to rival any footballer's mansion. So it's going to be a big job, so we're all going to have to move out. And we don't want to rent anywhere, we want to buy something and something that we can keep. Even though she's a teenager, Millie is being entrusted with the job of choosing a place for them all to move into. And in return, she gets to keep it afterwards. Brilliant. A bachelorette pad. <laughs> she wants to get on the housing market, so it's a great opportunity. But Millie doesn't always see eye to eye with her parents. I'm going to need quite a lot of space. I'd say probably five or six bedrooms. Three bedrooms would be fine. I'm hoping that he would be able to splash out maybe a bit more if there's going to be the five of us there. Maybe half, half a million if I'm pushing it. 
Millie is no stranger to pushing her luck. After a year at uni, she's decided she wants more bling in her life and has convinced her dad to give her a job in the family jewellery business. I started working for dad about two and a half weeks ago. I borrowed some earrings. I think these ones were about six and a half thousand pounds. What a new bracelet, where's that from? What would you like to know? I just love diamonds and sparkly stuff. I think I'm spoiled, but I don't think I'm a brat. Isn't it gorgeous? <gasps> 10,500 pounds. Wow. I'm in love. Privileged would be a nice way to put it. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> In London, Sophia is starting out on her house hunt. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm 24. Last year, I set up my own PR company, and this year, I'm looking for somewhere fabulous to live. I'm not going to look for anything above a million pounds, and I'm certainly not looking at anything for under 495, because in London, you can't get anything fabulous for under that price. Sophia currently rents in one of London's most luxurious complexes, situated in the east end of London. So this is my place. Welcome. But this luxury comes at a cost of nearly £2,000 a month. I'm not really a fan of renting. I think that putting quite a lot of money, in London case, um, into someone else's pocket is a bit of a waste. You've got lots of bits stuck in your hair. Sophia was raised on a private Yorkshire estate, so is accustomed to the finer things in life. Yeah, Peanuts was my pony when I was little. Very odd trousers you've got me in there, Mother. Luckily for Sophia, her mother Jenny has agreed to double any money she puts towards buying her own property. I keep telling her constantly how fortunate she is to have me. She is. Sophia's house hunt has begun, and to keep her only daughter on track, her mother has come down from Yorkshire. For Sophia, location is everything, and the ladies are en route to look at a flat in St John's Wood, one of the most expensive areas in London. Well, this one's priced at 940000 We can, can easily gather some funds together, and I'm sure Mummy would lend me some money if it was for property. I knew there was a reason for my being here. Sophia's mother is more than just her financial backer. She's also her best friend. She's someone that I feel very close to. She's always understanding, even if I do something totally stupid. Mommy, I can see why it's not over a million, can you? Mm. Maybe you should buy the block. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There are several things that I think would be fabulous. One is the lift coming up into my apartment. That would be fab. Thank you. Butler, definitely. <laughs> is this the main bathroom? Yes, that's the family bathroom. OK, well, a bit small, huh? So this is the third... Third room. I don't think I'd get one of the beds in here, though. I thought it was terribly claustrophobic, Sophie. Well, you're paying for the location here, and that's the truth in the matter, so you have to decide where you want to be. But I want to have a look at a few other places in St John's Wood and then get a clear idea. OK, darling. Deposits needed to buy a house are now at a 40-year high, and prospects for the first-time buyer look bleak. But not for Luke. He wants to buy a place he can put his own stamp on, somewhere as handsome as him and his £800,000 budget. So, for his first viewing, he's picked one of the most expensive roads in Essex. Every single one of the houses is absolutely enormous. Uh, I'm probably looking at the smallest one today, and that's still £750,000. So what exactly does three quarters of a million get you in this part of the world? OK, so this would be the bathroom. They've gone for the aqua colour, matching toilet, always looks well. I guess when you're being sick, you can't see it so much, so... I mean, as lovely as the area in the place is, there's not one other thing I would keep about it. Not one for DIY. Next up, Luke views a three-bed house worth 600000 in a very convenient spot. My golf club is literally about two seconds there. So, perfect for me. So in here you've got the uh, it's a kitchen uh, breakfast room. Oh, this is nice. It's definitely more my taste. It's like a normal run-of-the-mill family home. Am I ready to grow up? I don't think I'll ever be ready to grow up. While Luke dismisses the idea of buying a sensible family home, for 19-year-old Millie, it's essential. She's starting her house hunt and is toying with the idea of squeezing her whole family into a three-bed apartment. 
really like this room. It's a real party room, isn't it? I love how it's all open plan. This is the kind yeah, of thing I'm really looking for, definitely. Living area. This place is in Millie's room. ideal location, Wilmslow Town Centre, and is on the market for 319,000. And then this is the main bedroom here. It's a bit yeah. small. Yeah, I'm wondering whether that is double or king. It's double, isn't it? No, it's not a king. It's a double, isn't it? No, no I've got a king. Yeah. This is a, the main bathroom here. Oh, you can see it's a shower yeah. over the, the bathroom. Can I go for a way? <laughs> Are we back in a sec? Oh, this has come loose. <laughs> <laughs> that upset me. And to be honest, I'd rather not have it fully finished because I wouldn't choose any of the sort of sofas. It's like sort of a nursing home. I mean, at least it wasn't a total shambles. It was great for the first viewing. I'm kind of new to it all. I'm looking and I'm £300,000 or something. What can I, I don't know what you can expect it to be like. Back in Cheshire, Millie's parents are away on holiday and she's making the most of being mistress of the house by hosting a fancy dress party. <laughs> it's a taste of what it would be like having her own place. <laughs> and an opportunity to fill in her friends about her house hunt. A maximum price. 500,000? Half a mil? I was thinking two mil. OK, then. Mm. So you're looking for some wet for the whole family at first? Yeah, and nice. stay there and take it on, take it on. Oh, and that looks nice. I'm sure that you, if you're the dad, the average people doesn't pay for it and doesn't buy a house now until they're like 38. Mm. Shut up. So you're back to your dad. Like... <laughs> At 19, Millie is almost 20 years younger than the average first-time buyer in Britain. <laughs> 25-year-old Luke has decided the family mansions of Essex are way too middle-aged. He has 800 grand to spend on a bachelor pad and has been lured by the bright lights of London. But he's in for a shock. If that was in Brentwood, that would be a council development. And yet here, apparently it's not. So, look, if you'd like to come on inside, we have the um, two double bedrooms downstairs with one bathroom. You know, what are your thoughts? As to be decor? honest, I like the inside. Mm. Outside looks like it was ex-council. So here we have double reception with dining area and an open plan kitchen. Lovely kitchen. Just and then you have on, what's it on for? dishwasher. Um, this is on for seven nine 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 fifty. And I've looked at houses, which are beautiful houses for a lot mm. less, um, with you know, massive gardens and you know that, that three four where, acres. Uh, and this is just talking about back in Essex way. Uh, for three quarters of a million pounds, we get an eight bedroom house. Well, you can't compare that no. to W two. This view, too, like this view, just is depressing. For the amount of money it's spending, the view is really mm. depressing. I really, I hate the building. I hate the building. I hate the view. The apartment's lovely inside, but fuck is it worth 750,000? No way. Unless you are completely caked, London's not for me. For most people, London isn't an option, as the average deposit needed to buy here is almost 30,000 pounds. But that figure is well within Sophia's grasp, so she's brought her best friend Ruth to Hampstead, North London, home to more millionaires than any other area in the UK. What did you say? <laughs> I said I'm not wearing the right footwear for this sort of terrain. The girls are viewing this top floor flat, which comes with the hefty price tag of nearly £900,000. You can't fit in. Goodbye. <laughs> and it also comes with its own private lift. Ooh. This is really quirky. Yeah. It's nice. It's a top floor penthouse star apartment. Okay. And off the reception, you've got the kitchen really space. Nice. It's got far reaching views to the I love that view. Yeah, that's that's amazing. View. It might actually make me want to do some washing up. This is so wow. Cool. This is gorgeous. Wow, you never get this sort of space in London. You sort of feel a little bit like an empress looking over your city. Oh, I love oh, this. Oh, my this God. Is the main and there's a walk in wardrobe. <laughs> you could put in one of those things that rotates. And you could be like, oh. Or you could just have one, you know, that you pull out. And then you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it could go on forever. <laughs> this is a this great is space. 
because you can imagine just making it the most fabulous place in the world. Yeah. Really and it's not, not no astronomically plans. expensive. No. Oh, I really like it. Sophia really? may well like it, but that means nothing without her mother's approval. Outside London, you get far more for your money. In Cheshire, Millie has moved on from flats and found a spacious townhouse on for a mere 349,000. Oh, Not bad for your first bachelorette pad. I want to live here. No, I love it. It's gorgeous around here. Hi, Millie. Come on in. And 19-year-old Millie immediately sees its potential. Okay. Straight down to the end, Millie. Now have a look at the uh, main bedroom. The first self, at least. Oh, God, it's great. Yeah, this would be great for me. Oh, it'd be perfect. Perfect. But the property isn't just for her. It has to house her parents and two brothers while their main home is being renovated. Those are nice. It's actually very large so. so. <laughs> you won't get those. So yeah, right. no, we won't get them. Right, to here, Millie, into the kitchen. Yep. A bit oldy so. worldy. <laughs> yes, you might want to do a little bit with this. You might yeah, want to probably. slightly update it. Yeah. But again, if Millie gets her way, her parents will be getting nice. renovation project number two. What I would want to do, I think, but knock this wall down, mm. make this one big bedroom. Yeah, you could do the ground level. You could have for yourself, and then make a make a bathroom downstairs. Mm. Good. No, I'm Excellent. happy. I'm happy with this. I think it needs a lot of work doing to it, but I'm, I know how it can look. So that's what I've got in mind. I think. Hello. 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 Millie might be excited about the prospect of her own development project, but tonight she's got to pitch the idea to her parents. The thing is, it's very old. They've not. And it's them who would be paying for it. That's far too small to use as a bedroom. Their identity. It's fair, it's not. You can't really fit a single bed in there. If you did your living area. Well, they can't call it a bedroom if you can't fit a bed in it. You can hardly. What I'm, no, well, I'm I've not saying that. that. I'm saying, well, well, yeah. well, we're talking about the situation where the five of us are going to live in one small house and make do. You'll have to manage in a small bedroom, won't you? But it's ideal for. No, me. what it's about. Yeah. Do you know what I'd do, Matt? I'd get rid of the kitchen. garage. I'd get rid of the garage and make that I mean, make it all but, open plan and have a kitchen living area. Doing that now, so. If we were looking for something to develop, it's fabulous. It is fabulous. It excites me because of its position, because it's the end What we could do is, if we bought it, we could keep it. Millie doesn't have to stay there. We could just buy it. We could do a separate thing. We can buy it for sorry, us to do sorry, it. Hang on. So where's my house coming? No, well, so what, what is she talking about? I don't get out. Plan. We can rent it out and she can find something. She can find herself a flat. So can we let's just start looking press at the things. eject button. My personal view is we can narrow the search down now to something mm. modern, new and done. We're not looking for a project, no. are we? No. And at this kind of money... Oh, he's cleaned it. That is awesome. After the shock of London prices, Luke's back to his Essex bubble. Oh, no! <laughs> there he won. <laughs> But even in his hometown, finding someone that looks good enough for 800 grand is all starting to sound too much like work. Dreams are made of. And Luke doesn't do work. I've had one, I'd say, real job in my lifetime where I did sales. And to be fair, I broke the national record, I was told, for advertising sales. Made a hell of a lot of money, actually, in the year I did work. You know, OK, great, money's one thing, but I've never really had to worry about money. I've always been in a fortunate position where I've had anything I've ever wanted. So this is actually for a thousand pound putt. Oh! <laughs> you take it off a working man. Yep, yeah, easily. Up north in Wilmslow, it's back to square one for Millie. After last night's dinner drama, her mum's taken control of the house hunt. Um, I've got a list of a few houses that I'd like to go and see. I mean, she's young, isn't she? She needs a helping hand. She needs guiding. <sighs> Have you got any Are you going to be warm enough like that? Yeah. Have you Have got any chewing gum? No. <laughs> Chill out, Millie. <laughs> Have you got to learn your market, Millie? See what's on the market, compare. Have you got the more... Just get off your phone. Have you got the more lame ones there? I'm not talking. Shut Stop telling me to shut up. Stop going on. I'm turning heating down. It's really hot. Please. Just do it. This is where Dad said last night to you. They don't look very nice. Oh, I love that one. Oh, do you know what? That's it's that lovely. one. Four double bedrooms, master with ensuite and a walk-in closet. That's the one I had a look I at like this that. morning. I think it's a lot of money, though. 
The only thing is, are we in a dead end here? Yeah. How do we get out? Turn it around. <laughs> Although Sophia has fallen for the first Hampstead flat with a walk-in wardrobe, she is ever hopeful of finding another in the same exclusive area. Yeah, it is. It's really... Oh, this is great. But it would seem that in this part of London, £800,000 doesn't buy you a great deal. You can still be socialising. If you do want to close it off, you have a concertina door. No. Yeah, which goes all the way across. So you can... A little lady and shut her in here and pretend you did it all yourself. Yes! Or hide all the Marks and Spencer's boxes. You could hide your lover in here when your husband gets home. <laughs> and you want to... Although this property has its pluses, it has its drawbacks too. They've made the most of the space in here because it is small, really small. Mm. But then this is not the master bedroom, is it? No. no. So this is just a small bedroom. This is not the master, right? It is the master bedroom. It is the master bedroom. It is the master bedroom. It's decision time. Well, I'm going to seriously, seriously talk to my um, parents about the first property because I really, really like it. If you want it. to come back and see it again, I probably will. Relative. Yeah. Because I'll need a little bit of assistance with that price. We've just been to two properties in Hampstead. The first one, Mum, was incredible. Sophia may have found a fabulous apartment, okay. but without Mummy's financial yeah. assistance, it will slip it through her fingers. But, OK, bye. Mummy said it sounded very interesting, and when she comes to London next time, we're going to go and arrange a, another visit so that I can try and persuade her, bend her arm to help me get it. I just think it would be a really good investment, so. This is your lounge and kitchen. Lounge, kitchen, dining. Yeah. For his 800 grand, Luke had hoped to find something he liked enough to live in himself. But so far, everything has left him cold. So how much is this one that we're looking at now? 165,000. Now, he's warming to the idea of making his money work for him. He's looking at spending his budget on a range of properties in Brentwood, Essex, to rent out, just like his mum does. I mean, this living space is massive. I mean, how much is this up for? 149. <laughs> this is the one. Oh, if I could live in small places, this would be the one. How can it not make money? All right, let's measure it. Just under oh, five Uggs. Yeah. <laughs> Uggs are big. It's impressive. Tell him I'll take it. If it's up for 150 now, 149, offer him 140. I'm definitely going to take a chance on this one, I think. It's, it's only up for 150. If I can get an extra 10 grand off, then hopefully, yeah, that'd be nice. Luke's got something to celebrate. His offer has been accepted on the investment flat. Sorry, twice. With no chain, things are moving fast, and today he's signing contracts. Thank you, thank you, Thanks, Thanks very much. Luke's chuffed with his bargain, and he hopes his mum will be too. As it's her money, he's spending. I've given her the heads up that I'm buying one here. And she really wanted to see it before I did anything. Um, and in the end, I think she just turned around and said, I'll just get on with it. It's on your head. As a successful property developer, Luke's mum knows what a good buy is. Hello. Hello, Luke. You right? Hello. Oh, I've not seen you in ages. I know. I hated it from the outside. I didn't like the yeah. fact there was commercial below. Mm. But when I got in there, the faces were massive. And he said he guarantees rent of 750, 800 for mm. a one bed. Anyway, I mean, take, take a look at it. At the end of the day, as long as the rent is covering it, That's what you're I see. fine. And up in Wilmslow, Millie also has something big to celebrate. After going round in circles with her house hunt, she's finally got her hands on a property she can call her own. And it blows the house out of the water. It's her own jewellery shop. It was my mum's idea, actually. She mentioned it to my dad when they went away. She's really proven herself, and she's very able and capable, Millie, so I think this is going to be a perfect opportunity for her. I want to really work hard at this, but I don't just want to be another one of these kids that's given it and run it into the ground. Also, what are people going to see when they look straight through the window from outside? Mm. It'll be good. Yeah, it's my baby. It's my little venture. I love it. I can't wait. It's a huge responsibility for Millie, this, so really I want to get the shop up and running and it's all working, then uh, we'll proceed with the house. The timing couldn't be better. Today, she's leaving her teens behind. With the shop, future, it's a birthday today. So, yeah, it's going to be busy. It's going to be a busy few years. 
I feel like my life's like running running away from me and I just don't know, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'd like to thank you all for coming to help us celebrate Millie's 20th birthday. You know, the whole shot. I think this year is going to be a big year. <laughs> Hopefully a 21st of the air house. <laughs> Happy birthday to Millie. To Millie. Next time, can Sophia persuade her mother to bankroll this £900,000 flat? I just think you could make it with the most fabulous pad. Cord with an enormous amount of money spent on it. We meet 18-year-old jockey Sam, who plans to splash nearly half a million on his first home. It's a massive move, a serious amount of money, and I just hope it all goes smoothly. <sighs> Feeling good. And 24-year-old eco-warrior Zeno starts his quest to save the planet by buying a million-pound pad. Yeah, it's got a good echo. I like it even more.